he did a really good job with this clean out. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Vaughn of the Auburn Medical Group, speaking today about my colonoscopy. But first, see what I did there? But first, let's talk about why a colonoscopy. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer cause of death in men behind lung cancer and prostate cancer. And it is also the third most common ca cancer cause of death in women behind lung and breast cancer. Given that I turned 50 this year and these facts, I chose to have a full screening colonoscopy. Join me, will you? At 6 p.m. the night before my colonoscopy, I've been asked to do the Sure Prep. That's a brand name of product for cleaning out the bowels. When you wake up from this, most common side effect is feeling gassy because we're putting air in there. So we encourage passing gas. Okay. If I do remove a polyp, um, slight risk of bleeding. It's less one to two chances per thousand removed. So just don't take a bunch of Motrin aspirin or leave for four or five days. I'll write it down for you. Worst thing is a puncture rare, less than one in 6,000 for routine colonoscopy like yours. Less than that here, but all right. shouldn't take us long. The worst part is that prep though. Okay, now I'm starting to think about it. <laughs> I know, you're at 68 on your heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he saw, he saw the black mamba in the corner. <laughs> It's just one of those things, you know? No, it's like I said, it's not a natural thing to have done. So yeah. just do your best to relax. Oh, gentle, please, gentle, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please, gentle, gentle. Oh, you're oh you are gentle. I'm trying to be. You're, um... Like, I'll, hey, I know, I'll, I'll try to be normal. You what? I'll try to be normal. Oh, wow. <laughs> when was the last time that ever happened to you? I'm trying to do this without... Oh, here. Why don't we do um, one more? I want him to chill a little Try bit. Try to take more. some big deep breaths. In this is the worst part, Mark. The mind. rectal part. I know, it's hard. Give him one. one. I first said, yeah. Just, uh, are you, are um, you just blowing something up my... Yeah, so now the scope's in. Well, when you're nervous, you bear down a little bit. It's just, it's yeah, just I was gonna normal. Yeah, I'm kind of pinching there. Yeah, well, who isn't? Okay. Okay. Hold this here so it doesn't come out. We got a little. There we go. And then I'm gonna. Oh. Try. Yeah, okay. So that's. Now we're in the rectum. So now you did a good job with the clean out. This is like normal amounts of liquid. So the colon should kind of look almost like the inside of your mouth a little bit. That's, you know, very vascular and it produces mucus. Yeah. So really what we're doing is we're trying to find polyps when they're small so they don't grow up to turn into cancer. Okay. And so your risk just being 50 is about 25% chance in you I'll find a polyp. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so this is just we're going through the sigmoid colon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice oh. deep breath there. Do you want a little more, Mark? Pressure. Yeah. I don't think it broke them. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad for how the day's going. Just, whoa, wow, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you said that was terrible? Incredible. incredible. Oh, incredible. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better than terrible. Oh, it is really. Well, yeah, there's cramps. You got a little oh, turn here. So. Nice deep breath here. Oh, I'm not good. Boy, oh. 25. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh. let up. Oh. 25? Oh, oh. Oh. Nice deep breath, Mark. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, it's, oh, lots of pressure. Lots of pressure, yeah. In a specific spot. No, but it is. It's, it's on your right side there at the top. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I kind of describe it. Yeah, we'll give you some more medicine here so you don't have so much discomfort. Uh huh. Where are you at now? 125.5. Can I make it six too? Okay. Make it six? Yeah. Let's make Mark happy. I don't, 
I don't imagine it being a recreational activity. <laughs> oh, no. You have a good liver. It hasn't been abused like a lot of people's. No. Yeah. You did a really good job with this cleanup. When he wants to film his own, he'll have pain. Of course. Yeah. So bad for me. Mark, can you turn on your back for us? He's really... Oh. He's snowed. Yeah. Watch his leg Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lift your leg up here. Yeah. Oh, he's very comfortable now. Okay. Good. See, that's her finger pushing. And right at the, about the 11 o'clock position is called the ileocecal valve. And it's a little fattier look up here. And then straight ahead is the appendiceal orifice. You can point it out for him. So show the valve. This is the valve right here. And then straight ahead right there. Right here is the appendiceal orifice. So made it all the way around. And now we just start slowly going back. And this is where you look for all the polyps growing. You take a good look here on the way out. Hopefully we see nothing. If we see nothing, then he doesn't have to play with us again for 10 years unless something changes. If there are polyps, then it depends on the size, the number, and the type. And typically we repeat them every three to five years depending on those factors. No diverticulosis at all. They look like little potholes in the road is what they look like. And a lot of times that's genetic, but it can be based on diet. Like if you don't eat enough fiber or you have chronic constipation, you can get those. We are almost at the end. So at the very end, what we do is because you don't always see uh, some polyps when you first go in, if they're right near the opening, near the rectum. So what we do is right at the end, you turn the scope kind of back on itself and you look back. Up. Oh. Yeah, that usually wakes them up too. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah, you're having your colonoscopy, but your colonoscopy is almost over because we're about done. Yeah, you did great. You know what? I didn't see any polyps at all. So this all looks really good. Uh, just tiny, tiny externals right there. That's it. Well, that about does it. Thanks for joining me for my colonoscopy. I hope you learned something. Hey, if you're not already a channel member, please consider becoming a member. We make special recognition of our members when we do live chats on our live streams. Also, if you're not getting notifications, even though you've subscribed to the channel, hit the bell icon, and then you will be able to get notifications for our videos. And if you enable notifications for your YouTube app, you'll get notifications even if you're not in the app, so you don't miss live shows. Until next time, I'm Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.